Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and on today's video we're going to be going through this week's Forzathon challenge uh, which is called Playtime uh, and it revolves around you using any track toy of your choice. Uh, there are plenty of them out there and it's actually not a hard Forzathon event even though the challenges may make it seem so. But anyway let's get stuck in here. Uh, so obviously you want to start by picking out a track toy of your choice. Now there are many out there, these are just the ones within my garage but you can do the same within the ones in the auto house. Um, but basically the one I went for was the Caterham Supply R500. As you can see here, I've got a tune for it called Forzathon Easy. Uh, the reason it's got so many downloads at this point is basically because I used it in the last Forzathon that we had to use a Caterham in, so I know it's a very good tune, it's very, very capable, which is why I picked this car. Now, the first challenge, uh, obviously you have to drive out the auto house uh, and jobs are good, but the second one wants you to get a total of 12 stars on speed zones. Now, you can use the same speed zone over and over and rinse and repeat, or you can use various ones, it's up to you. I opted for this one up here by Arthur's Seat called Queen's Drive. Now, you do not have to get three stars on every attempt, it's basically as many attempts as you want as long as it adds up to a total of 12 stars, but this one is very, very good and very, very easy for one particular reason. As you just saw there, it has barriers on both sides, which means you won't run off the side of the track, therefore obviously losing your, your current uh, speed and failing the speed trap. You can absolutely cane it along, ride the wall a bit until the very end uh, and get three stars, which means you'll only have to do four attempts. So as you can see here, if you just gun it towards the last wall, three stars on both those attempts, which means all you have to do is four attempts, three stars, challenge done. Uh, the third challenge here wants you to get a total of 1 million skill points. Um, now I would recommend using a couple of the perks, so one of them gives you a second chance if you sort of crash into something, uh, one of them boosts your speed skills, your near miss skills, um, your overall skill score as well. So I'd recommend using them if you've got plenty of perk points to spare. Now one thing I must emphasize about this challenge is you do not have to get 1 million points in one skill chain. Okay, you can do it in various skill chains. If you want to get 1 million points in that, then all you have to do is obviously get 200,000 points and then it's multiplied by 5. Uh, but you can just keep on going around, keep on getting skill points uh, over and over. As you can see there, it took me about 5 to 10 about five minutes actually to get half a million skill points and all you have to do is just keep going doing that until you hit a total of a million skill points and as you can see I use the airfield here uh, it's the best place for it put simply now the final challenge just wants you to get uh, win three road circuit events so obviously I've filtered to the road racing series uh, and you want to make sure you use the circuit events as you can see they say circuit at the end and not these sprint ones as it, they will not count so I went to the Moorhead win farm circuit as it's the quickest circuit I know it's very very easy uh, and I'd already made a custom event again for a previous Forzathon we've done uh, which is one lap just for caterums it's called Forzathon R&R &R, if you want to search it up uh, for the blueprint it's just one lap in very good weather on a sunny day uh, and all you have to do is win it three times so you can use the same road racing circuit event over and over just like with the speed zone uh, and it's actually quite simple and the best thing is you can do it on whatever difficulty you want whether it's expert, pro or amateur it's entirely down to yourself uh, like I said this tune will come in handy as it's absolutely rapid um, which is you know the best thing about this car it's so lightweight uh, and a simple tune can make it go like the clappers um, but like I said these challenges are very simple they may seem quite hard and tough but they're not trust me uh, the million points it will only take you about 15 20 minutes um, like I said you don't have to do it in just one skill chain if you do lose a skill chain for example don't be too negged out by it and this final one here just win three road circuit events whichever circuit race you want just sell it to one lap make your own blueprint or you can use the one that I've created there called Forzathon R&R &R, um, and just win it three times in your track toy car uh, so I hope this video helped you guys out I obviously you know that's why I'm here if it did please do subscribe to the channel and drop a like as well and let me know in the comments uh, I do like to think that I am still helping you out like I said if you need the help I've got a tune up there for you uh, and a blueprint event for the final challenge um, but last of all if you haven't already please do enter uh, my giveaway I'm giving away 20 million credits uh, amongst three winners uh, the video is the last one I posted but I'll put a link to it in the description and you should see one popping up any second now 
Uh, and that will basically, if all you have to do is comment done and be subscribed to the channel with notifications on and you'll be in with a chance of winning <clears throat> a nice sum of credits. Anyway guys, again, I hope this video has helped you out. Please do subscribe and drop a like if it did. But last of all, a massive, massive thank you for everyone's support and all the best guys.